very good afternoon uh, very and, good afternoon sir yeah and this is i can say cold afternoon rather uh, because throughout bengal and i think uh, throughout india the temperature is below this morning uh, but in this good afternoon let me welcome you all by saying that this is not the new and special thing to bisvardhi library network it's our regular and frequent initiatives when bisvardhi library network is going to showcase by not only its non living resources print and electronic books and journals and other resources for research and techniques in addition to that we are hiring india and abroad some experts by their excellency on this subject research methods methodology research tools techniques and also different subject domain to showcase and to enlighten our academia this world in particular and india or i can say global since this link is open to all so this can be also noted as international level like that and today in two ways this session is different this is a five day i mean from monday to friday every day 4 pm we will be coming over here with one particular agenda and with one particular resource person from parts of india more than that today we have with us one veteran professor of in both side that is economics and statistics rather say statistics and economics having dual master degree dual phd and only 80 years young youth with us none other than professor arobindo ghosh who is a sudden user of bisvardhi library and on my just request sir today we have a session you please grace with us he said without thinking back and front okay dr saha i will come so sir is here to witness the session and at the end sir will share so it's very extempore uh, i mean extempore topic to him but a people who is having 80 years old and loitered in the academic arena from maharashtra from gujarat and most of the indian colleges of the five group he was hang over there as principal and basically his career was loitered at the bidarbo institute of social science and humanities and there from professor he has retired in the year 2004 afterwards he has different administrative capacities of ikfai group including principal and today he is here and tomorrow he will be here also as a library user and a visitor of santi niketan so on behalf of bisvarthi and on behalf of this bisvarthi library Thank network you, let me sir welcome you on behalf of bisvarthi library and on behalf of bisvarthi and we are really pleased to have you in this online session and finally we have with us today one such fellow that is uh, i always claim dr samit da as my friends as my well wisher and my beloved mentor too in the subject of ib and human science who is now by his excellency chairing the deputy librarian of central library iit kharagpur and who is basically in indian abroad knowing not as rather speaker but as worker but as professional colleagues in excellency so today samitda is here just one call he is agreed to deliver a lecture just three days before i called him and he agreed with the topic research support service tools and techniques with this few words and without losing much time of you let me request my colleague dr kosik ghosh who is supposed to be the assistant librarian and in charge of our journal section to introduce our today's speaker dr samit kumar jala the please uh, thank you dr shah so it's my uh, immense pleasure and honor to introduce uh, with today's uh, speaker none other than dr samit kumar jala jala he is now one of the important and renowned library professional in india at present so now i'm finishing few uh, brief introduction uh, and few credential of dr jala Dr. Shomir Kumar Jalal did MA in Economics from Rabindra Bharati University in 1996. He passed Bachelor of Library Information Science (BLIS) from Rabindra Bharati University 
in 1998. He did associateship in documentation of information science from DRTC, Indian Statistical Institute, Bangalore, in 2001. He did PhD in library information science from the University of Bordhaman on webometrics. He has more than 20 years of experience in LIS journey. Currently, he is working as the librarian at Central Library, IIT Kharagpur, since October 2014. Prior to his, he worked as deputy librarian in Central University of Bihar for two and a half years, assistant librarian at BIT Mesra, Dim University, for five years, librarian in an engineering college, Hyderabad, for three, five, uh, three and a half years, an Indo German project, Department of Health and Family Welfare, Government of West Bengal, for two and a half years. He has 20 years of working experience in college and the university, central university, and IIT system. So there are so many credentials, publication credentials in his credit. He has published more than 21, 51 research public papers in journals and conference proceedings. He's a reviewer of few reputed journals in LIS field. And his interest of research or areas of interest, bibliometrics, Centometric study, webometrics, open source software in LIS. So this is the brief introduction by me on uh, Dr. Sumit Jalal. Sir, please. Hmm. Thank you, uh, Dr. Sananji. And uh, let me... Hmm. Yes. Uh, Respected faculty members, research scholars, staff members of the university, and all staff members of Abhisavarati Central Library, ladies and gentlemen, a very good, a good afternoon to all, as well as wish you a happy new year. First of all, I uh, extend my gratitude, deep gratitude to Dr. Nimai Chan Saha, librarian Biswarthi University, and all his colleagues and team member of Biswarthi Library Network for giving me an opportunity to share my ideas and thoughts regarding the topic, research support service tools and techniques. I always feel that the academic library should provide research support besides their novel services. So that's why I uh, always prefer uh, to work on the what kind of support services to be provided to the researcher so that they will be benefited and their time will be saved. So uh, in this, since it is a uh, online lectures, and I will try to uh, manage some theoretical parts as well, some practical parts, if time permits. So first of all, I will highlight some of the things which I mean, supports the uh, researchers towards the selection of journals, some kind of statistical tools and techniques, if time permits, and also tools for checking grammars, plagiarism, details I will not cover, writing references that uh, Mendeley, etc., is required. But top of that, uh, I will try to uh, uh, give a live demonstration on R Markdown. This is a tool to support the researcher. So what is research support service? It is a range of services. It's not a single service, it's a range of services aimed at supporting researchers for their, uh, I mean, the courses of research during their uh, journey, research journey. So we normally 
in library provides various types of services like circulation service, reference service, online reservation of books, recommendation of library materials, etc., current awareness service, photocopy service, etc. But top of that, there should be a kind of a, a services which I'm coming now that uh, those type of services are also required besides the normal library services. So normally we have seen that every university library is having their uh, library homepage where a lot of informations are given and uh, the users used to access, we used to get all those informations without asking to library staff members or they may sometimes consult the library staff member. But research support service is much more than this. Now, we need to analyze the researcher's need is normally everybody knows that the researchers need to plan for their research activities regarding the selecting a topic for writing an article or maybe for thesis selecting a journal to communicate their research results. During these courses of uh, their research, data analysis is an important part where there may be two types of analysis. One is a qualitative analysis and is quantitative analysis. For the case of quantitative analysis, some statistical calculations are also required. Then, for writing an articles, there is a section called reference or bibliography. In there, reference, some tools are required, which researchers should know to manage their references. Checking grammar, normally for the Indian researchers, they always get a criticism that their English is poor or their uh, I mean, they are not writing the uh, uh, their content technically, I mean, grammatically correct. Therefore, so oh, the for particularly for the foreign authors, foreign reviewers, they make a comment, such comments. One more step is for checking the plagiarism before submitting the manuscript to the journal. Finally, submitting an article to the selected journal. Therefore, in this process, during this process, it is obvious that we need to select a journal and selecting an appropriate journal is very, very essential. So uh, now in this context, the what the library staff should do. So, the objective of research support service is to provide the digital content. So researchers need their digital content, normally which will be, which will save the time for them. So they prefer for having the digital content rather than the print content. As we know that uh, content without content, they are not be able to proceed further. So therefore, to support to the researcher for smooth undertaking and carry out their research activities, we need to provide various types of documentary sources that preferably in the digital uh, uh, digital environment, in the digital environment. Therefore, uh, we need to create an awareness of uh, awareness regarding the content. What are the contents available for a particular subject wise we need to put in the website so that the subject, I mean, the different subject uh, researchers, they will choose from there. Secondly, we need to create an awareness regarding the availability of tools and techniques for organizing their research activities. In this context, uh, we need to provide a training to how to write the references in how to provide uh, how to 
use the index citations using the software like Mendeley, uh, Javrev, etc. Also, use the grammar check and plagiarism checking tools so that they can able to write the manuscript in a proper manner before communicating to the to the journals. Now, besides for the calculations, there are special tools available. Special tools available for data analysis, calculation, and data processing. I will come some of the I will discuss some of the tools here. Now, for the case of first selection of journals, how to select the journals? So, what should be the quality or what we should think? Like before selecting a journal, we should have some of the criteria as mentioned here. Is a, it should have a scientific rigor. Means some uh, selection of uh, journals in the sense here that there, there should be kind of a editorial quality high editorial quality should be there now peer review process should be blind blind and ethics that means good publication practice no copy paste things are there these are the some of the criteria like indexing, we have to check whether the particular journal where I wanted to communicate, that journal should be indexed in Scopus or Web of Science. For the case of uh, medical science like PubMed, DOAS or EBSCO, etc. for management. Now, in these cases, while selecting the journals, uh, we should be very, very cautious that the Selected journals should not come under predatory journal, predatory journals. So do not send any article to publish in predatory journals. So it is very dangerous. So in the sense that, uh, so we should know what are the predatory journals. It is an exploitative academic publishing business model where some of the, I mean the some people or a group of people they uh, they launch a journal and charge a high price from the author and without checking the articles for quality and legitimacy without providing editorial service etc so uh, i mean they publish the article so uh, uh, this way, the quality gets deteriorated. Now, uh, after if you, if you publish wrong, if you do not if you do not know that this is the selected journal is a comes under predatory or not, so we need to check. You can able to get the list from Bell List, belllist.net, where there are many journals are listed here which are comes which comes under predatory journals so criteria also you can able to see that there are so many criteria by which a journal is made under the predatory if it is not up to the mark so uh, we need to see whether the journal uh, is an authoritative or not and uh, accredited journals we have to choose to communicate our research results so another person we need to see that we should not publish our work in vanity press vanity press in the sense that it is a type of publishing where authors pay and uh, for their works published to get their works published either in money or more often in authors publishers right 
so during this publication process no peer review is promised by the publisher and no quality control is done so vanity press usually does not does no editing and authors are left to do all the formatting uh, etc everything author has to do and there is no quality check so in this way the works gets deteriorated in quality and their works are pub then published in self publishing outlets such as amazon where the book cost may be very high and the others may uh, purchase it also uh, i mean the they pay a huge cost so publishers get profit huge profit but authors get nothing so they sometimes promise that you will get uh, some of the i mean the some percentage uh, but uh, ultimately uh, authors did not get any uh, any any uh, i mean uh, amount from that so list of such vanity presses like uh, apple academic press editorial academia so these are some igi global many uh, i mean the uh, people uh, publishes here lambert academic publishing so uh, it is better uh, to uh, avoid publishing a book in these uh, i mean the uh, publishers so normally what happens for the young researchers they may be submitted their thesis or submitted only one or two years back phd thesis and then they try a thought that they will publish it in the book form so uh, they get, i mean they prefer to publish because it is very easy to publish within this i mean the uh, publishers so ultimately it doesn't get any benefit it doesn't make any impact on the uh, research scholarly community so no, uh, authors normally wants that i need a uh, i mean the uh, i need some credit in the sense uh, that people will appreciate my work but ultimately uh, this objective doesn't get fulfilled so uh, this, this uh, we have to uh, i mean uh, we have we should not publish any work in this vanity press third uh, part I, i will try to i mean this the the duty of the library staff member is to uh, is to make aware of the researchers uh, aware to the researchers for that these uh, you should not publish this you should publish these are the uh, reputed publisher where you can able to uh, publish your research results so that you will get uh, i mean your reputation in the field will increase and you will get more citations people will recognize your work uh, and admire your work so the, it is the duty of the library professionals to Uh, give awareness coming to uh, another uh, area where open access publication fund so this is a uh, very very important to the researcher in the sense that uh, we prefer to publish in open access means open access means free unlimited access to scholarly information because authors or normally wants that his work will get published in uh, i mean the open access journals so that the all the community in the world uh, will be able to get his uh, works shared and they will read and then uh, after reading they will acknowledge in terms of citations so uh, but the hindrance is the open access business model rely on the article processing charges here is the hindrance so researchers wants that their work should be published in open access but the uh, i mean the it gets 
in uh, i mean uh, it's it gets stuck for due to article processing charges charge by the publisher publisher used to charge an exorbitant amount of money that is around 100 dollars 200 dollars or uh, more than that to publish an article in a uh, i mean the uh, reputed journals so these apc may be covered by the author by, or authors institutions or a research fund normally there are two ways one is the uh, i mean the some authors or in a scientific laboratory they used to get the fund from the from the dst or uh, icssr what whatever and with that fund there sometimes there is a uh, i mean the it is a clear instruction that your uh, research should be communicated to the uh, i mean the open access journals so in that case the amount of apc charges will be borne by the funder so uh, we need to know what is the uh, condition uh, so accordingly we have to communicate the researcher need to communicate to either in open access mode or in a subscription uh, journal before submitting uh, your research to a journal check whether your fund funder has any such requirement now library membership agreement normally library subscribes lot of journals from different publishers so during the subscription process the it is highly recommended uh, for the librarian or the library authority to check whether there is an uh, such kind of a uh, facilities where the apc charges can be waived so such kind of a conditions should be there in the agreement so that uh, something like uh, i know that taylor francis is having such kind of a facility so whenever we used to able to i mean the get an uh, i mean the agreement document with the taylor francis then we can say that some kind of a some 100 articles apc charges should be waived so this kind of a uh, negotiation while subscription negotiation can be made and in agreement it can be uh, i written so that the researchers can be benefited through this now uh, this kind of same thing like uh, uh, open access publication fund like a gold open access means that final record of the research uh, published in a journal or immediately available for anyone to read and reuse now researchers who wish to publish in accredited open access journal may apply to the research access publication fund so uh, there is another way that some libraries used to keep uh, some kind of a fund uh, through which the uh, apc charges can be met so there there can be an of there is an alternative option and where the uh, librarian can uh, reduce uh, this apc charges through uh, bargaining to the publishers and then uh, ultimately they can uh, help the researchers to uh, pay the apc charges with a uh, much reduced uh, cost so now coming to the uh, like another uh, very interesting uh, thing that is f 1000 research publish your results rapidly with f 1000 research F1000 is an innovative open access publishing platform. So if sometimes uh, we used to do research and then uh, there are a lot of research data available and in those uh, research data, uh, 
uh, then gets lost after some time because it keeps uh, we used to keep it on the uh, our machine and then do another research and then do another research like that and then the previous results and all the data gets lost so uh, this f1000 research is a portal where uh, this url is given one can explore that it is an innovative open access publishing platform where the researcher can choose this platform to publish their research results in open access mode freely at without any cost so uh, that way uh, the benefit is that the once you upload your ppt or um, uh, maybe your research data so a dui will be assigned within two days and then you this particular dui you can claim it that uh, i have published this result uh, i mean early than the others now uh, people can able to cite your uh, works using this dui so another very interesting area where uh, the library people can provide the service like research commons research commons brings together people technology and information resources together together to enhance the research activity so uh, research normally uh, cannot be done by alone so it needs many uh, people's help people technology resource and previous uh, uh, researcher whatever has they have done their uh, research so all these type of uh, documents uh, and help is required to carry forward their research so uh, library what we can do uh, uh, we can create a, a individual workspace with comfortable reading area if a space provides uh, a space is available for in the library so you can create a research zone or individual workspace uh, uh, hope uh, i mean most of the uh, big libraries are having and uh, to attract the researcher who can discuss with peers to make the concept more clear it is not like that uh, uh, keep silence keep silence everywhere in the library uh, it is not now oh, the library is not uh, should not be like this because uh, the things has changed and uh, i mean the researchers uh, is also required to discuss regarding their research and then its updation and uh, it should have a control uh, i mean the uh, discussion with the peers to improve their research uh, their own research so professional and peer assistance is also uh, uh, to be provided to the researchers or research oriented service in unity uh, with other support services example the research assistance group or corner can be created in library to educate the researchers how to find the literature guidance literature review how to do literature review this process can be explained uh, particularly i have seen that in iit here also uh, many i mean the uh, researchers used to come uh, to me and then uh, uh, ask that uh, how to find the uh, articles on a specific particular specific topic so they may be unaware about the different databases like uh, bi uh, bibliography databases so we can help them to get the uh, this kind of a literature search so that it uh, saves the time now uh, like university of uh, one or two examples like university of british columbia research commons how they are doing they they offers the consultants consultation workshop they used to conduct workshop Uh, collaborate spaces for uh, studying research projects and hosting presentations 
for example various presentations and where many experts talk about many good things and those uh, techniques tools etc those presentations can be hosted in uh, website so that from the, it can be a, a kind of a help guide to the researcher so uh, it can also happens they can uh, in university of british columbia library they book a particular small room uh, so students uh, one online form is there to so that uh, they can fill a group of researcher can fill the request and it goes to the library and or the some person who is in charge on that and they can uh, approve it so that the room can be booked for one or two hours for discussion where uh, the library persons can also uh, act as a representative to understand their requirement and uh, if we can able to help them now uh, this participations in a workshop consultation ohio state library also uh, provides kind of a research commons like schedule a consultants consultation attend a showcase event that what we have in our uh, i mean the, uh, to support the research that uh, uh, should uh, should be uh, showcasing the library can showcase the these are the products these are the tools available to support the research so that uh, showcase can be done uh, either in a i mean the visually or uh, can make a posters etc so reserve rooms etc already talk about then access a specialized technology kind of a specific software uh, so uh, one demonstration can be given by the library staff member to the researcher that this software can help this and this so that way we can able to provide a kind of a little support to the researchers so uh, this is a very uh, i mean the uh, uh, google scholar everybody knows but only thing i wanted to add it here is a google alert service for their uh, research so when i uh, when i did uh, research that time i created a, a google alert services on my specific uh, research topics so that every day if i check my mail then i used to see that a few articles are in the mailbox so like uh, some uh, eminent person has published an article on my research interest so uh, i used to click on and then find if it is uh, suitable i used to put it in my uh, library google library and in google library also you can put it like uh, different categorize them using levels like chapter 1 chapter 2 chapter 3 chapter 4 like that and if one article is suitable so you can put it in chapter 4 if it is a uh, comes under chapter 4 so that way the researcher can plan uh, their research activity and a uh, lot of after some time this exercise if goes on for 6 months then many articles will be uh, i mean stored in a folder so uh, that will be useful while writing a particular chapter now so this i already explained like alert service my library my profile my profile also can be used like kind of a whatever my publications is there uh, i can add it to my google uh, scholar page so that Uh, i can able to uh, 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 put all my artic published articles here and also uh, the i will get the citations so different metrics will be generated and then uh, finally we will be able to uh, get it uh, i mean know the citations h index etc so kind of a, this kind of a service like uh, uh, i have put my all articles here uh, i put my name here and then uh, i can add here this plus sign if you click on the plus sign then uh, there window will be open where you can able to add your uh, articles here so and this side is a, uh, you can generate know the citations and h index and etc i index i i index is that 
the uh, articles which receives at least 10 citations is uh, called i index so now coming to uh, scopus is a great sources uh, of bibliographic databases published by elsevier uh, and it is very good source to uh, collect the literature uh, so and to plan the research activities for the researchers so it covers nearly 36000 plus titles uh, of which 34000 peer reviewed journals and uh, so uh, uh, most of the i mean the researchers knows it so i'm not going to in detail scopus i would say these two oh, i mean tools like uh, site score and cyval just uh, a little introduction like site score uh, it comes uh, with a four year citation window the same like uh, impact factor uh, uh, here in the case it is a four year citation window where the number of citations received in four year divided by total number of publications during the those four years so here citation articles reviews conference paper etc are being uh, i mean the indexed for the case of uh, site score now cyval is a web based analytic tools uh, which provides a comprehensive access to the research program over 20000 plus research institutions here Cyval allow you to visualize your research performance. This is very, very important that one researcher should know that uh, where he is standing uh, in the group of his, uh, I mean, the uh, he can ben benchmark the relative, uh, relative to peers. That from my colleague, how far I am away, uh, I mean, the ahead or uh, I am uh, performing uh, less than my uh, I mean, my colleague. So uh, we need to see uh, one's researcher's position relative to other researchers. So here, this is this option is available. Now, Wave of Science is a similar kind of a thing. Uh, here uh, is only thing the cover is under Wave of Science collection is a 21,981 journals plus books plus conference proceedings, but. Uh, uh, under Web of Science platform, it is a 34,000. So core collection, in the core collection, journals are less, that is 21, 20, almost 22,000. Here is a entire platform, it is a 34,000. So now uh, this is a very good, all those like Scopus and Web of Science, both are, uh, I mean, the subscription based, but Dimension is a similar kind of a database uh, this is uh, actually is a, comes under uh, comes free. So uh, those uh, researchers do not have access to Scopus and Web of Science. They can able to consult the Dimension databases. It's a very good databases, and it is uh, I would say uh, it's a more than I mean its coverage is more than Scopus uh, and Web of Science. So. Here, uh, it is the largest database of linked research data in the world. Largest database of linked research data in the world. It is launched only in 2018. And uh, Dimensions dominates life science and chemi chemical uh, chemistry. And it applies the latest semantic analysis tools, ontology, uh, and AI-based uh, tools. So it uh, it gives uh, i mean this lot of analytics uh, are there so uh, so th this is uh, there now this uh, is the uh, accelerate uh, this is the page where uh, you can see that eight, 800 uh, thousand clinical trials are there patents 160 million patents 140 million publications so many uh, documents are available, but it is a freely accessible. Now, uh, if you see the subject wise, uh, I mean the uh, categorization, you will see that medical and health science gets dominated, followed by engineering, bio biological sciences, chemical sciences, etc. Just to see 
that uh, subject coverage, which subject coverage is more in this case of dimension. Also, bibliometricians can take the data and can do analysis of bibliometric analysis. So here, different such facilities are there by author and topic wise, etc. Year wise uh, distributions are also there. You can able to get it. Now coming to uh, <coughs> uh, math science, it's very uh, old and everybody knows it's a comprehensive online databases. I'm not going to uh, uh, discuss here. So now this is the math ma math science database, special databases on mathematics. Here the, uh, the it can be searched through author, title, etc. Now SciFinder is for uh, chemistry and uh, it over 27 million citations to chemistry publications are available so this is uh, now pubmed pubmed is a free online search engine accessing primarily on medline databases for research research, uh, research literature search in the biomedical and life sciences so pubmed systems are offered free and public uh, public starting in June 1997. So it is maintained by National Library of Medicine. So here I would say that uh, all the, I mean, the biomedical and medi uh, biomedical life science, uh, medical sciences. So the researchers should follow the PubMed databases rather than Scopus and uh, Web of Science databases. So besides, DOAS is another source where uh, uh, you can able to see that uh, many open access journals are available if you wanted to publish it in open access journal so you can choose it uh, you don't have to pay the APC charges here this is the almost 13,000 journals are available the registry of open access repositories here it's a role promote the development of open access by providing timely information about the status of the repository. There are 5,600 repository where you can able to download the PhD thesis from here. So this is a very good sources and uh, different institutions, uh, they can upload their, uh, so they used to uh, upload their thesis and here you can, uh, one researcher can able to download PhD thesis. Besides, uh, I mean the, uh, Inflipnet also is having. So these are these sources where the thesis can be downloaded. Now Project Gutenberg, this is a very good source uh, as a project. Uh, more than 60,000 free ebooks are available. These are mostly fiction type. So uh, I mean the this can be, we can put Gutenberg project in our library link so that anyone who wants, they can able to see it, like this, this is the cases. Now, Genedo, this is, uh, we need to uh, spend one minute here, like uh, Genedo is an open access repository, it's a very good, and it is created in 2013 to let the researchers in any subject area to comply with any open science depo uh, deposit requirement absent in an institutional repository. Means that to provide a place for the researcher to deposit their data set. So many researchers, especially for scientific, science researcher, so they generate a lot of data and Genedo is a, uh, I mean, uh, is a uh, repository uh, where they, uh, researcher can deposit their data sets at free of cost. It also provides a DOI to the data set and other submit data that lacks want to make the work easier to cite and support the various data and license type, various data and license type. Here, I would say that Genedo uh, as is publicly available and it is, uh, uh, up to 50 GB, uh, I mean, the uh, data is available where you can able to uh, deposit uh, your data. 
now uh, it is actually is very safe where your research is stored safely for the future and trusted citable and no waiting time and open and uh, close that is share uh, versioning different versions are available as github integration and user statistics are also displayed here so uh, now i will stop here and uh, i will give a kind of a demonstration uh, because there are so so many things are there plagiarism already i told that we need to check and i think uh, in next uh, speaker will also cover uh, turnitin or any other uh, dilbrit whatever one uh, i mean the plagiarism part we have to taken care of uh, grammarly also we need to uh, i mean the grammarly just software uh, the institution can uh, library can purchase the software and give it to the create an account to the researcher so that researcher can uh, check grammar while writing their thesis and articles so open refine is another tool where the uh, those researcher who are working on a data so they can use make use of the open refine uh, as a open access uh, data wrangler tool uh, is very very useful for cleaning the data and transformation of data in different formats like uh, if you just uh, type in google open refine and download so the software will be downloaded and one or two click you can install it and you can open it open so uh, once you open it will be coming uh, like uh, this way this screen will be coming where you, you can create a project first you click on create a project then upload the file uh, so uh, these are the files it can support and then choose file so this data will be coming in a kind of a spreadsheet and then uh, so due to lack of time i'd not be able to demonstrate so uh, where you can able to do lot of modifications and finally you can also download the data in different formats including the uh, database format uh, i mean the sql format so uh, uh, therefore data cleaning uh, this is the best tool for uh, i mean the for the researcher who are working with a raw, raw data and try to generate the uh, i mean the uh, try to refine the data and coming to uh, 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 and try to reach the conclusion now uh, using the grail command so grail is a google refine expression language grail grail is a command where you can able to uh, i mean check the manual uh, so one such query like value dot replace string 1 comma string 2 so it will replace string 1 with string 2 in the current column in the same column there is a data manipulation technique there are so many uh, grail comments are there available so uh, a researcher can make use of the uh, grail comments to uh, refine their data now uh, so uh, i think uh, i have 15 20 minutes more there are statistical tools uh, everybody knows but i would say only uh, i'll not uh, go through this the i have given the site that is uh soc s uh, statistics.com this site a uh, lot of statistical tools whatever like mean median mode etc and then qns uh, cartosis all the values they can able to calculate without uh, using the formula so this is a free site where those uh, who do not know much of the statistics they can able to uh, go to the sites and then do the calculations if there are large uh, data uh, so uh, manual calculation will be difficult in this case uh, in this uh, link you can able to uh, calculate lot of statistics so like correlation regression normally in the um, Uh, if you see that uh, there are 
uh, we need to find out for the research we need to find out the various types of uh, uh, i mean the various types of uh, 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 variables and all those variables we need to uh, uh, study and try to find out the uh, relations which is a dependent variable which is independent variable and then uh, try to make uh, try to see whether there is any relationship between those variables or not uh, uh, many experts uh, knows uh, i mean the uh, better than me but uh, i would say that uh, for this library science research also and any social science research we need to uh, analyze the systems and try to find out the different variables and list the all the variables and try to see that whether there is a uh, relationship between the two variables so uh, x is a function of y or y is a function of x so uh, like that we need to find out and then correlation calculations can be done easily using the uh, formula or else uh, through software you can able to make it now <clears throat> uh, let me give a demonstration so uh, we'll go for the another presentation for stop sharing uh, and then screen yes uh, arc markdown that is a tool see arc markdown is a r is a tool statistical tools where uh, the concept of r is widely applicable and almost all the fields including uh, it is a basically is a uh, i mean statistical package but uh, it uses for irrespective of all disciplines uh, the researcher the researchers in all disciplines they use the R programming for the data analysis. So uh, briefly, R programming is an uh, interpreted language and used to analyze statistical information and graphical presentation. So R programming is a popular in the field of data science among uh, data analytics. So R is, I would say, world's best programming language used in statistics. So uh, there are so many characteristics basically written in R, is a statistical programming, uh, is a case sensitive, and uh, it provides a suit of operators for calculations like array, list, vectors, matrix, etc. So uh, it also uh, combines many statistical functions uh, to perform a complex task. Now, uh, coming to the practical cases, so R installations normally uh, you can go to Google and down, uh, just type it R, uh, download R. So uh, it will be showing, it will take you to this, uh, I mean the link, and you can able to download R and R Studio. So download R and R Studio, uh, the relationship is that, that R works in both Windows and Linux environment, where uh, R Studio, uh, is an interface where uh, it works on top of the R. So therefore, uh, to work on R and R Studio or uh, this R Markdown, you need to uh, first install R and then install R Studio. So, uh, like installation instruction is there. I will share the PPT so uh, you can able to do it. There is no issue. And uh, so installation of R through R Studio, this link, and then installation of R Studio. So R uh, normally works in uh, Java environment. Here also, uh, even if uh, required, so Java runtime you can, uh, I mean, the install. Now after installation, uh, you will see there are R is, is having a so many packages. Uh, so many packages and for uh, each package is having a specific function 
like bibliometrics, this package also works uh, in the R environment, which is specifically for data analysis or bibliometric kind of a, uh, I mean, the functionality. All functionalities of bibliometrics are done using the bibliometrics package. That is, you have to, in our environment, uh, you have to install dot packages bibliometrics. So, bibliometrics package will be installed. Similarly, to generate the graphs, so ggplot and ggraph, you need to uh, install. Uh, like, and also uh, ggrepel. So, then bibliometrics data is nothing but the, uh, the library. Library means in the sense of this software package library means inbuilt data. Some lot of inbuilt bibliometrics data are there. If you need to use, so you have to install install.packages. So uh, now I'll uh, look, now uh, I'll open the, I mean the um, actual my site already uh let's see so now now see this is a uh is it able to uh Visualize this window. Can anyone respond? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, now, uh, for example, here what I have I have installed R, and then I have installed R Studio. So R Studio once I install, so it will be showing like R Studio. R Studio apps here is there. Once I click, uh, so I'll be able to open this. This is the window this window, there are four windows. One is you can just move it up and down. Uh, this is, uh, you can move it up and down. So this is first window, second, third, and fourth. Here you can clean it here. And then I will try to show like, this is if you click file and then new, then new R script is coming. This will be blank. Now for bibliometrics, you can uh, you can use like uh, different kind of a installation command, whatever like bibliometrics. If I uh, show it uh, that we can able to like uh, untitle now new, and then here you can just click on, and then you can install on bibliometrics. So bibliometrics package will be installed. And after that, you can uh, use the bibliometrics package to do all bibliometric analysis. So this kind of a uh, thing, like I would show you one once, um, like, uh, for example, library dot bibliometrics. So this is the command library dot bibliometrics means library means here you can able to use this package. This is sensitized that bibliometrics package is used. For example, uh, you can also do kind of like to read a particular file. So you can do it here. For example, this file is there in my folder. Here, what we have to do? You have to create, set the path. Uh, setting the path means uh, it, this is in my pen drive. So in SKJ workshop folder and then R code and then I open it. So and then finally I have to set the path. In setting the path, uh, you can able to see that my path is set and then you can do analysis part. Here, uh, for example, all bibliometrics uh, part, you can able to do it here. Like converting the files, this is file downloaded from Scopus and then uh, we can able to 
convert it uh, so uh, this beep, uh, beep text okay so now uh, here i can do kind of a uh, this way and then finally you have to convert the file and then result will be coming now here i wanted to see show you this is the markdown whatever i spoke that markdown once you click on the markdown that is here you can use the there are two type of things one is a document another is presentation for example you, with the r programming you can create the programming and automatically you can create the ppt in this format if you click on uh, the presentation if you click on the document for example here i can write that uh, uh, research support research support um, service is my title of the uh, topic title of the article for example then i have written for this one so again i can put it like word pdf and html so i would prefer to put it on uh, word so here word document has come now if i save it uh, i mean if i save it so i can save it like test 2 um, in my r code then you see here the research support service and it is coming nicely in a word format here what is coming here is uh, this car and uh, all these things you see the car is something like here r code i have r chunk i have created and it is taking from inside data r here if i uh, create i mean uh, if you include your own code you can include it so include here include r code and then for example i have uh, uh, data something like csv data mm, for example test 2 and then if i put it here and then you can just click it this is the uh, path you have to change like e e drive e drive and then uh, then uh, skj skj workshop this was path or markdown file was there this was uh, okay uh, uh, skj underscore workshop workshop so here output is uh, it will be showing and then print csv data uh, print csv data so csv csv data on data uh, so you can just delete it print csv data so data has been uh, print here now you just uh, save it it will open so it will be uh, okay now here is coming csv data so uh, this x category male female etc all the data has come uh, 
so this way you can able to uh, generate the this kind of a graph you can able to generate therefore uh, now i would say that uh, uh, this kind of a uh, tool like r r script and then arc markdown and then also like presentation untitled presentation just i am showing this uh, output is coming how uh, save to uh, ppt i mean powerpoint then powerpoint uh, for example test 3 test 3 and then this test 3 powerpoint is coming so therefore uh, our programming can be used for our programming can be used not only for uh, i mean the not only for uh, generating the uh, projects or articles and you can create in the backend code and you, by changing the backend code you can able to convert it into uh, i mean pdf format or uh, i mean the ppt format or you can able to make it in a word format so therefore uh, finally i would conclude uh, with that uh, that the uh, i mean the uh, uh, research support service we need to provide we need to provide i mean the uh, we need to provide to all the users by uh, uh, depending on their needs and one of the important needs is uh, is to uh, provide uh, to update the research tools like r programming and uh, comprehensive workshop can be done on r programming where lot of tools can be practically used how and all the statistical calculations like uh, correlation coefficient can easily be calculated your system data will be there in your pen drive and only give a path and then finally cor within bracket uh, variable 1 comma variable 2 then your cal correlation calculation result will be there so this is a small example and uh, uh, i mean i am not able to show uh, much here uh, due to time and uh, if it is a full uh, one hour or two hour classes then we can able to uh, do the r programming its uh, markdown features and you can able to publish it in the i mean the uh, html format you can save it and directly you can publish it with a uh, i mean the openly openly and without any cost so you you will get the url and you can also cite it so therefore uh, um, it is uh, urgent requirement for uh, all of us for the library is our duty to update uh, to conduct such kind of a workshop and different uh, to orient all the various types of tools to the users uh, for their betterment thank you very much Thank you, sir, for kind patience. Yes. Uh, Dr. Jawadal, sir, it's a amazing presentation. And two, I found that it's very pertinent to our the academic and publication era. First of all, first of all is that research support service tools and techniques, as you know, and it was very difficult to you and particularly to me to customize because there are n numbers of tools and techniques available for research and academic publications. Yes. But you have very efficiently and by your as usual and traditional skillness, you have just customized the focus area and just truncate your presentation by one hour for five minutes. It's very, very, you know, uh, timely and pertinent presentation to us. Now, uh, let me open it with your kind permission for yes. any question or interaction. Uh, let me just first open it before my virtual participants be it from, uh, you know, Vishwabharati and be it from any other institute, please raise your hands or unmute yourself and you can direct question one by one. And Dr. Jawal sir is here and he'll be kind enough to clarify your answer. So please. Okay, thank you. Anybody, or you can also post your question in the chat box. 
uh, so that we or Dr. Jawal sir may take it from there and give answer. In the meantime, in the central central library conference, we are having some scholars and my uh, faculty members. If anybody wanted to ask any questions on this, you are also free to raise your voice, and it will be goes to Jawal sir by your voice. Anybody, if any question. You can ask the question from there, he will get it. Yeah. Uh, Swamitha, we have yes, one uh, student professor from the Department of Education, Vinay Bhavan, Dr. Umakan Prasad. He sir. is very want to ask you one question. Let him yes, allow. Sir, sir, sir. Namaskar. Sir, sir, Namaskar, sir. You told about that we can publish our research paper even using uh, some platform where yeah. we can get fund from. Uh, for example, we told about ICSSR. So, right, what sir. is the process that we can uh, take fund to use to publish our research papers? Uh, once again, sir, uh, the question from where we can get the fund okay. to publish our research papers. Because uh, uh, for actually, publishing the papers in some journals, they are hmm. asking huge, huge amount of money. Right, right, right. I got the point. Uh, so uh, ICSSR directly, uh, there is a, I mean, the researcher can submit the proposal to ICSSR and uh, then uh, they will evaluate the proposal and then finally, Normally, as far as I know, that uh, they uh, conduct an interview for they ask for the presentations and uh, and select only few among the apply uh, applicant, and then they grant the uh, research amount. And in that case, uh, uh, they they might have uh, said in that uh, that you have to publish your research results either in uh, open access journal or any journal. So that is the clarification. Okay, thank you. Uh, now, I guess our uh, professor from Department of Chemistry, respected professor Gautam Rambodir, sir, came to uh, put on some question here. So, uh, yeah. Professor Gautam, sir, please. Thank you. And thank you, Dr. Saha, sir. for giving me the opportunity to make a comment. First of all, uh, am I ad uh, audible? Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, clear. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. So, so uh, Professor uh, Jalal, it is an excellent yeah. presentation indeed. Uh, um, I am sure that the researchers from uh, various departments of our university, as well as the early uh, researchers, will be much benefited uh, from your lecture. Mm. Uh, I have one comment. Uh, that uh, you have rightly uh, raised a point that to support researchers to publish uh, nowadays it is a high journal APC oriented journals okay right. so many APC oriented mm -hmm. journals is there I think within the la coming five or ten years mm -hmm. as I am aware that the all the leading publishers all over the world are uh, are on a same platform to make their journals uh, APC oriented. Right. So uh, uh, it's a very um, important issue you have raised that mm -hmm. the library should uh, uh, keep on space of this particular issue uh, mm -hmm. to uh, support the researchers of its university mm -hmm. uh, with a fund to meet the APC. Okay. Right. So uh, I think our library also think in this particular directions because uh, in the coming uh, ten years, the coming decade. Mm. Uh, all the journals, frontline journals would be the APC oriented journals. I think so. Right, sir. right, sir. And another uh, point: uh, What's your opinion in providing the library to access the forefront uh, journals to the researchers, and how this can be manageable on the part of the library when the finance crunch is there? Yes, uh, this is a good questions, and uh, it's a real problem for all the. Uh, universities and academic institutions and uh, in this case uh, i would say the uh, um, the researcher 
uh, has to think uh, their quality. Uh, we should not compromise. I, I, I am not in the line of compromising the quality, uh, like to uh, choose the second tier journals or third tier journals and then publish it uh, to escape APC charges. But uh, on the rather in uh, another direction, we can think of uh, like uh, there are few uh, journals maybe we need to identify that uh, which are very uh, high, uh, high uh, with a high reputations. Uh, also, on the other hand, did not uh, charge APC. Uh, so we need to, there may be some of the journals, but uh, we do not know. That's a lack of information for us as well as uh, the researcher. So we should work on that and to try to find out those type of journals, which uh, also holds the, I mean, the highly reputed and uh, make it available, the list on our website. So this is one. Second uh, option would be, uh, the just bargaining with the publisher uh, that I have uh, lightly mentioned in the lecture that uh, publish bargaining with the publisher uh, and reduce the APC charges. Uh, I mean, is a, I mean, I, I would say 50 to 60 percent APC charges would be reduced for uh, some of the cases. Uh, it's right. Actually, uh, the situations of APC-oriented journals still not in the picture. Uh, still, the, mm, the all the reputed journals actually are now uh, APC, not APC-oriented mm. uh, still. But in the coming 10 years, it should be. Uh, mm. My question is was about uh, the very basic things is that as far as the researchers and the academia is concerned, they obviously need to consult with the forefront journals, that is the articles, journal right. articles. Right. And the journal articles, actually, and that was very much accessible through the Implement UGC. Hmm. In the last three years or so, the journal access through Implement uh, UGC uh, has been uh, uh, blocked down, actually, hmm. blocked. It has been blocked. And no, actually, uh, uh, last two, more than two years, we could not, uh, we uh, have not been able to access any forefront journal, journal like ACS or LCBS mm. or some uh, RSC or yes. like that, the, uh, uh, particularly in our university. Mm -hmm. I do not know about the other universities, but since the UGC has uh, had stopped this particular service, I think uh, it is common with all other universities as well. Yes, same. So um, what's the, uh, but it's very much necessary, okay? to yes, consult sir. the research articles to uh, for this is the basic and uh, basic criteria of uh, academia and research i think mm -hmm. apart from all these tools as you discussed and this is the basic criteria yes which is so, going on around us so yes. it is uh, it is not possible for a researcher to pay uh, for the for the particular journals, okay. Yes, yes. So, yes. Uh, what is your opinion and how yes. this kind can uh, be? How this issue can be solved? Yes, this is only uh, possible is uh, like uh, we through uh, through uh, I mean the interlibrary loan number one that to uh, uh, we need to have a contact with a, a reputed. A library uh, like IIT normally uh, subscribes all the uh, Elsevier journals, most of the cases. And uh, through, uh, I mean, the uh, library uh, there, but there is, on the other hand, there is no membership kind of thing. Uh, but uh, like uh, with a peer uh, network, peer network, uh, the library people can get some of the managers, some of the articles through uh, different IITs uh, or ISC, uh, some kind of, uh, from reputed libraries. This, this is the only way. Uh, otherwise, uh, we need to, I mean, the researchers themselves, they can, or faculty members themselves, they can uh, send a request to their colleague peers to get the uh, articles. There is no other uh, options.
Uh, yes, uh, Dr. Jalal, uh, what you yes. said, a particular researcher is bound to collect uh, the relevant articles anyhow. Okay. Yes, sir. So, uh, and uh, obviously, we all are uh, facing problem and we are doing so, obviously. Mm -hmm. So, one thing what is, is now being explored is that you are saying that uh, one can uh, one can contact with the IITs or IIC Bangalore's library mm -hmm. uh, and uh, they can uh, they can uh, give this particular service free of cost no no few cases for example one or two articles one or be, two articles i'm not uh, saying about one or two articles i'm uh, saying about a lot of articles only uh -huh. uh, they, you have to uh, pay and subscribe that is the options that is the so option. That means, uh, that means I understand. Uh, that hmm. means I understand the university itself to pay, is uh, to manage, uh, yes. is to manage and to manage. That means manage by paying the fees. By paying the fees. Paying the fees to LCBR or ACS yes. or others, uh, RSC or like that or yes. other uh, different era. Yes, domains yes. And yes. collect the journals and the, supply the journals to its readers. Okay. Yes. Sir. That's the problem. Actually, we come at the same point. Uh, mm -hmm. Dr. Thank you. Uh, so, uh, thank you, Professor Bumbujari, sir, and Swamit, sir, for your uh, nice introduction. And uh, let me just share uh, with uh, Swamit, sir. Yes, sir. The fact that this rural university or, you know, kind of traditional university, mm -hmm. even though we have a fine faculty members group or a good lab, but the only thing is that because of crunching of literature availability. Yes. yes. Uh, I think you will be agreed with me the moment when I feel hunger to take a food, if that time my parents ask me to let me go out market and collect the food and then you will give. So child will not sustain or survive. Okay. Yes. Likewise, our faculty members, our distinguished faculty members, they are suffering a lot because yes. of common basic resource scarcity. UGC to implement they have dropped this American Chemical Society journal. Mm. And as a result of that, there is a huge impact in our chemistry department or science department for they are suffering basic lack, I mean, infrastructure lacks of this having. So that's why we are trying, and Brahmachari sir and his teammates, they are trying. But he is highly library minded uh, teacher, I say, and yes. he is very prolific uh, scientist in the chemistry field. But we are not able to feed him properly. That is why. In spite of his busy schedule and you know a lab technician and professor, he is pairing with us one hour 40 minutes and he's listening. So mm. Gautam sir, you please uh, accept my gratefulness and thank you for your concern to sharing with our Indian you know experts. So uh, Samitha, if possible, we will try to raise a voice before the internet and EGC. I have already written and our yes, is already so that it will be some core basic journals need to be made available to all the universities if they have the department so that yes. our uh, will be no, no, we, sh we should uh, we yeah, should yeah, write that's in that's fact the uh, with the vice chancellor's uh, letter to vice yeah, chancellors yeah. also supported by the faculty members and then a library uh, right. can send it uh, i think it may wash uh, okay thank uh. you uh, then uh, Swamit, uh, Swamit sir, one more question from this Yes, Dr. Simacharan Teddy. This question is the lecture is very excellent. I have a query regarding how to reduce the similarity in research paper. Is there any tool to reduce the similarity? Yes. Uh, regarding the similarity uh, in research papers, normally uh, you have to, uh, there is no such tool. Manually, you have to do it kind of a by paraphrasing the uh, i mean the text whatever you have typed first of all uh, we need to check the manuscript with uh, the uh, plagiarism tools like turnitin dilbert etc where it will be pointing out that uh, in which portion there is a high similarity so once you know the similarity part of for example 10 pages of write up and there, like page number three, page number five, let us say page number seven, there is some portion where high similarity is there. So it will uh, do some coloring 
and that portion you have to rewrite by your own and uh, then you can check it with uh, once again the software uh, similarity will be reduced so this is a manual job and intellectual job the tool there is no such uh, tool available thank you Thank you, Swamishad, for your nice and excellent presentation and clarification interaction too. Now, this is the moment yeah. when I am just going to request uh, today's youngest <laughs> participants, I must say, or I can say president of this session, I think no adjective is enough to address him. Uh, we have with us today Professor Aurobindo Ghosh. Uh, now, this is the time I request sir to say five, six minutes his valuable input on this presentation as well as the entire research scenario because in your eyes we need to see how research support service or tools technique is going on though your time it was a different but when you are here or in this age the tools and techniques definition and availability is gigantically changed still we intend to listen you for 5-10 minutes today and of course in future we will have a at length session for you sir please uh, can i stand here and speak no, or you have to no, stand there, there because they are there oh. uh, thank you very much for giving me opportunity to say something about the research process that is going on in india see today's lecture was so uh, substantial regarding doing research and getting published. Now, there are five steps in starting the research and ending the research. Those five steps are survey, analysis, planning, action, and evaluation. Just now there was a question that how to have a new topic, no similarity. Now there are two ways. One, to accumulate all the researches done in the field and find out which is not done. And then start that part, which is not done. Or you start one and then find out whether they have somebody has done on that particular Please to talk. As we came to know regarding lot of sites having lots of research paper on different topics or on the same topics, it is very, very difficult to download all, including the research thesis. It's very difficult. And I, I request you, uh, uh, in personal feeling is, don't download a voluminous topic or voluminous material. Don't do it. Plagiarism is now getting stricter. If you copy somebody's something, then you are gone. Your, your career may be in, in stake. So far as funding is concerned, start with the smaller one. Take a minor research project. There are so many institutions, including UGC, who have lot of, lots of monies which are not utilized properly. <clears throat> Start with small, minor research project, immediately will get the grant. Publish one research paper, one. But as Dr. Jalan said, no vanity site, no. It has to be within the Scopus level, arena. Suppose you publish 10 research paper and apply to a college or university for a better post, and you say that there are 10 research papers, they will ask you immediately how many of them are published in Scopus Journal. If they are not, or one or two, they will discard all the eight, take only two. That means you have published only two research papers. So be serious about it. 
start a very nice survey, survey in reverse engineering. Start your topic nicely and then survey whether somebody has done it. If somebody has done it, just change the topic. That is survey part, reverse engineering. Then analyze whether, is, whether your research is only purely theoretical or it will, it will be applied to the society. If it is applied research and applicable for the betterment of the society, the fund is no problem. I can assure you, fund is no problem. Every organization like CSIR, every organization has a lot of funds, but their restriction is it has to be benefited by the society people. If it is not only benefiting you with your career, then you will get hardly any people, any person or any institution to fund it. Number three, planning. Starting is very easy. End is not only difficult, but it is must. You start a research and then you forget the path. Suppose there are three lines. You have to choose one. You have chosen left or middle or right. And then you find that left and right are going to he heaven and the middle one is going to hell. Then what? You have to be very flexible. Immediately change yourself. The entire thinking should be changed. No, the path that I had chosen earlier is not true. It is not good. So change your path. Path of thinking, path of research doing. Select the proper journal. Don't read all the things. Don't read. It is not going to help you. It will rather confuse you more. Be selective. Be absolutely selective. There are too many research papers, too many books, too many journals, both vanity and scopus. So be selective, choose, be choosy, and be a very nice runner. You must be knowing Mars pass of the soldier. What is the meaning of Mars? March is one step, left, right, and left. From left to left, is March. Try to steal one March than other research or scholars. You be ahead with respect to time. And the lastly, there are so we, we used to started with basic language, then Fortran, then Pascal, and all those things, then came to C. And now R is a language, SPSS and all those things. Now, R is a beautiful language. R Studio is a beautiful working table studio. Beautiful. But the problem is if two, 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 the median is two. One, two, three, the median is two again. When arithmetic uh, mean is two again. Zero, one and then five. Again, the median mean is two. So the journal that you are taking, they are all giving arithmetic mean two. But what you are going to choose? Any, any two? No, any two mean, no. You have to choose all the values. That means whatever subjects you have taken, whether it is one, whether it is two, whether it is three, you have to find that. So there are two things. One, you have to be selective. Second, you have to be time bound. Your time management should be fantastic. Otherwise, you will be lost in searching, searching, and searching. Be precise. Read only those materials related to your research topic, that's all. Don't read extra, it will confuse you. And lastly, find out where we can find the fund, starting with a minor research project. Minor research project, you will get fund anytime, anytime. Thus, 15,000, 20,000 rupees, nothing for the government of India or uh, UGC, nothing. 
And then once you do get that, you convert it to a major research project, get one lakh rupees, and then to the PhD thesis, get two lakh rupees or three lakh rupees. So there are three steps to get the funding. If you say that I'm going to publish a theoretical, mathematical, or statistical research paper, you give me money, nobody is going to give you. I'm giving you one example. Jaker Library of Pune. They have a huge library, and it's a masterpiece with respect to journal. You know what happened? Because of the less number of research scholars reading the very high standard journal, they had to cut short the number of journals to be given to be put in library cells. Because what the, what the journal will be done will do if the people are not going and reading it? Because everything is in the online. People say that, oh, I have got a lot of things in my mobile. So why should I waste time in the library? No, go to the library. Go to the lab. See, during my, I have done two research um, uh, PhD. When I was doing the first research one, I stayed there at Indian Statistical Institute free of cost, only eating food, food cost. I stayed in National Library Hostel free of cost, getting access to all journals, only food cost. So there are people to help you, man. It is, not, it is not true that you don't have money and can't do research, no. You have to have a steel mind. No, I have to do it, I have to complete it, no matter what happens. So there are so many library in India which will give you free access, free stay, free access to the journals. Only thing you have to prove that you are a serious research scholar. But if you are serious, if you are really a research scholar, if you help the people in the society that research is going to help you, there are no dots of accommodation, there is no dots of journal, there is no dots of funding. Be selective and do research best way. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Very nice and very, uh, I think, uh, significant comments at the end, which can be noted as presidential comments. So uh, thank you, sir, for your nice deliberation. And before handing it over to my colleague, Dr. Sabah Nausin, I see, I, I guess she is in the board. And I just like to share with uh, one message with our uh, today's speaker, Dr. Swami Jawal, sir. That as you said during your presentation, the research assistance group, research assistance partner, as a part of research support service hmm. on 20th December 2023, on the occasion of Library Day, Vishwati Library in its central library has inaugurated with the golden hands of our present Vice Chancellor, Professor Sanjay Mollik, sir, research assistant cell, through very which good. he uh, wanted yes. to, yeah, very uh, through that we wanted to help or assist our research scholars in a particular time, in a day, they will come in the room and any teachers, any professors will be there in the room through which in twin objective I wanted to satisfy. First one is in compliance with the NEP 2020, interdisciplinary multidisciplinary research is nowadays very prominent in the society. So a Bengali student's guide of Bengali teacher, it is our traditional mode of research. But through this research essential, I wanted to inculcate the idea of multidisciplinary research the question of a Bengali research scholars will be given answer of a physics faculty or an agriculture faculty or a history faculty and vice versa. So that this assistance cells is came into being and we are very fond to start our uh, cell physically within the limited and problematic infrastructure. Still, for your uh, information, I am sharing with you because you are always a mind of uh, innovative librarianship. So this is uh, for your information that we are trying to take your ideas and we are trying to inculcate here like that. And uh, today, congratulations yeah. for this. Uh, actually, yes. really only very few libraries they used to uh, have. Uh, so you have already made it. Uh, I really congratulate you. Thank you. And before I handing you one request to you, 
this is uh, we are not satisfied sir really speaking because most of our colleagues were uh, asked me during your deliberation that you please ask one day swamishar in the campus physically to have the <laughs> art programming demonstration in real mode so that we will be coming over here with our laptop or desktop whatever it is in the library and swamishar will be here physically to demonstrate us so that we will take actual learning from him today we will listen him but we actually take a learning from him so i uh, trying to count down that days and i will communicate with you and we will have a, that kind of session to bring you physically in the campus to assist our scholars as a part of research support service thank you sir thank you thank you sir and uh, sabat i think you are on the board yes sir oh so uh, may i now request you to offer a formal word of thanks to conclude the session please on behalf of uh, vishwavidyalaya library network we would like to thank uh, dr samir kumar jalar for uh, such an enlightening and thoughtful lecture for the research purpose we thank him that because out of his busy schedule he has spared some time with us we would like to thank professor arubindu ghosh for his excellent presidential comment and at last we would like to congratulate our university librarian dr nimai chand saha for organizing such a program thank you sir thank you very much thank you all sabat is very much yeah uh, i th i think sabat is very much economy in terms of time because she is always seeing the clock <laughs> try yes. to conclude the word of thanks like word of thanks so thank you sabat you are also deserving uh, word of thanks so swamita thank you very much uh, thank you very much uh, thank you everybody uh, uh, online uh, offline our professors those who are in the uh, board and those who are outsiders of visual the but joined in the board like librarian kadirul university my beloved dr Bish uh, dr bishojitda and uh, many other colleagues from other institutes of india and different parts of state so thank you very much on behalf of visodi library tomorrow in the same time we will be the same platform to listen uh, similarity detection software jailbit how is it working and how it will be help us in our research and publication activities so thank you very much let us wind up the session summit let us with your kind thank permission you. thank thank you sir Thank you.